are many forms of landscape. One of the deepest is the landscape of memory. In New Mexico, this memory lives against the backdrop of natural splendor, of light and color, of rough adobe and fragrant pinyon. It is a memory that inspires hope and echoes with nostalgia. Tunja kwache na poisa, tunja kwache na poisa, tse o hita ki waki na poisa, pim povi, pim povi, ramuran kung, kani na nanda na resite. In New Mexico, this landscape of memory is rich. It begins with the stories of ancestors who traveled here from many directions. Now, here, today, together, we are many and we are one. We who are a part of this diversity are now the guardians of its treasures. We live in the knowledge that each of our peoples has made its mark. Drawing from the earth, shaping, weaving, painting what nature has given. Along the way, they created objects that hold our history, like pages in a family album. While they discovered different ways to live their spiritual lives, each was profound, each was creative. Whatever their journey, our ancestors brought with them. History? Tradition, and a great strength of character. At times, these ancestors clashed like winter storms. They wept like spring rain. Yet they grew as summer corn. As their ideas and lives merged like streams flowing into a larger, stronger river. Over time, the boundaries of this land have been shaped and reshaped by the people who have lived and worked here. Today, we are one as the people of New Mexico, but we continue to be many as we honor those who have walked before us. We've learned that deep memories deserve cherished space. And for that reason, we've created four museums and five monuments to give voice and vision to who we were and who we have become. Together, they are one. The Museum of New Mexico. Throughout its buildings, exhibits and collections, the works of generations of hands speak for us and about us. The Museum of Indian Arts and Culture, together with the Laboratory of Anthropology, create thoughtful exhibitions and collections from Pueblo, Apache, and Navajo peoples to honor our first ancestors and provide inspiration to the creative works seen today. My dad used to plant corn. Through its many programs, the Museum of New Mexico offers much more than a wealth of objects. It provides a gathering place where we can learn from one another. The Palace of the Governors is the longest continuously occupied public building in the country. Its rooms preserve the memories of our European and Mexican ancestors.
these collections date back to early Spanish explorers and tell the story of people who began a new life in a new world. The Museum of Fine Arts inspires us with works that embrace all of our different traditions. From the first Santa Fe and Taos art colonies, to the works of today's emerging artists. The Museum of International Folk Art celebrates how we bring color and feeling into our daily lives. No matter which state or which country we call home. This museum collects folk art from our regional past and also reaches out to different parts of the world. It opens a window onto universal themes that connect us all. The walls of the Museum of New Mexico extend out to the adobe, rock, and wood of five monuments. Here, we remember the prayers, tears, blood, and dreams that step by step built what we now call New Mexico. We are in all of it, the bricks, the beams, the coils of clay, the carvings. We are darkness, and we are light. We are one, and we are many. The Museum of New Mexico in each of its locations is where people from around the world can feel ties to our ancestors while at the same time find respect for their own people and traditions. The Museum of New Mexico is where everyone can experience what it is to be one in the context of many. It is a landscape of memory for this generation and the next and all that follows.